Upfilling tutorial. Synchronize. Our first step will be to create the skill. Open up your database and scroll all the way down to the last skill on the list. Then hit the Change Maximum button. Change your maximum to 127 to add a new skill slot. Title the skill and set the parameters as you see fit. I'll speed this process up as it's the least important. Since this tutorial is not about the damage formula, I'll keep the values inputted simple. We'll just use the already predetermined attack formula that's been generated for our regular attacks. Now we're ready for our next step. Open up the script editor and make sure you're in the animated battle script. It's time to create the skill code. Scroll down until you're just above the Kaduki header. Hit enter a few times to create a new line of code. Then enter in the hashtag symbol. This line of text is so that you may categorize your skill. However, the next line is much more important. In the region where I'm entering in passive line strike, you should place the name of your specific skill. This next phase may take as short or as long as you like. Here is my entire finished skill. Each skill created is unique to the developer's need. In my case, I wanted to create a unique attack. This line of text forces the actor to shift into row 1, frame 2. He'll be facing his targets. The icon text indicates which angle his weapon will be facing. Wait 15 waits 15 frames. Animation ID 96 plays the animation 96. We wait 120 frames, and then pose our actor into an attack position. We'll then move towards the enemy using this line of code, wait 15 frames, attack the enemies, and hold our attack position, wait 4 frames, and allow the icon to make the attacking motion. Through these next few lines, we're now inflicting damage upon the enemy. Effect 100% will make this complete. Move Retreat will allow us to return to our position while still facing the targets. Wait 5 frames, and then the skill resets. Don't forget to add in this line of text to close off the skill. Now go back to the top and copy in the name of the skill that you entered in this region. It's time for step 3, modifying our note tag. Go into the note box of the skill that you entered in earlier. Here is where you'll link the skill with the code you entered in Victor's Animated Battler script. Once this note tag has been entered in, head to your Actors tab for Step 4. Now we'll need to customize the actor. We'll first make sure that he has the appropriate weapon. In this case, I want him to use a sword. Now we'll need to make sure that the actor is equipped with the skill so we can use it in battle. Now, it's time for step 5, testing our game.
If you're still unsure of how to create your specific skill, log on to victorscripts.wordpress.com. There's still so much more you can do with creating skills than I have time to show you in one sitting, so make sure you head to the Animated Battler's User Manual. Victor has compiled a list of all the terms you need to know for creating your own customized skill. You can even find a step-by-step -step example on how to create your own skill, very much like the ones I showed you. Like Victor says, making custom skills isn't hard, but does demand some good work for good results. While it may seem daunting at first, once you get into it and finish it, the reward certainly is worth it. Before you guys go, make sure to subscribe. Your dedication and support really encourages me to help make more videos and be dedicated to that. So really, it's one giant circle of dedication. And that button will always be up there, so you have to click on it eventually, right? And speaking of support, let me know if you liked the video by leaving a comment below. Maybe you'd like to give feedback, maybe you have a suggestion, or maybe you thought that this tutorial could have gone a little bit better. Either way, please, please, please hit the like button and share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and wherever sharing takes place. Ah, the website. Chances are by the time you see this video, it will be up and running. If so, there will be an annotation, uh, I'll let you know about that, and the link will always be in the description. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Until then, you can always view the old site. There will be a button on the construction page that will link you to there. Until next time, though, this has been your friendly neighborhood, Passive Line, signing out. Victor's Animated Battles. We've all seen the videos, and we even looked at the user manual. But there's still something we're missing to get it working with our own projects. Luckily, Passive Line is here to show you just how to do that. Our first step will be to create the skill. Open up your database and scroll all the way down to the last skill on the list. Then hit the Change Maximum button. Change your maximum to 127 to add a new skill slot. Title the skill and set the parameters as you see fit. I'll speed this process up as it's the least important. Since this tutorial is not about the damage formula, I'll keep the values inputted simple. We'll just use the already predetermined attack formula that's been generated for our regular attacks. Now we're ready for our next step. Time for step two, customizing our actors. Since we've already set up the weapons in our last video, all we need to do is just add the skill we just created to our actor. Once he has it and that's out of the way, it's time to actually create the line of code. Open up your script editor, make sure in the animated battler's script. Scroll down until you reach this section. As you come to the end of it, hit enter a few times to make a new line. Now, we'll enter in the hashtag and start naming this, so that way we can categorize our own skill. This next line of code is very important. In the region where I'm entering in Passive Line Strike, you can enter in the name of your own personal skill. Now it's time to start creating the skill itself. 
Here is my entire skill. Pose indicates that we want to put our holder battler into row 11 and use all frames. He'll then go through the complete animation, then start facing the targets. We'll wait 15 frames, play animation ID 96, wait 120 frames to let it finish, and then we'll start turning towards the enemy and moving in for our attack. Effect 100% is the line of code that will deal the damage to the enemy. Skills really are a case-by-case -case basis, and what you may choose to do could be a variation on this. Now, go back into your database for our next step. We'll need to link our skill with the one that we just created in Victor's animated battler script. To do this, modify the note tags. In the skills note box, enter in this line of text. Make sure the skill names match up. Everything should now be in place for you to test your game. If you're still unsure of how to create your specific skill, log on to victorscripts.wordpress.com. There's still so much more you can do with creating skills than I have time to show you in one sitting, so make sure you head to the Animated Battler's User Manual. Victor has compiled a list of all the terms you need to know for creating your own customized skill. You can even find a step-by-step -step example on how to create your own skill, very much like the ones I showed you. Like Victor says, making custom skills isn't hard, but does demand some good work for good results. While it may seem daunting at first, once you get into it and finish it, the reward certainly is worth it. Before you guys go, make sure to subscribe. Your dedication support really encourages me to help make more videos and be dedicated to that. So really, it's one giant circle of dedication. And that button will always be up there, so you have to click on it eventually, right? And speaking of support, let me know if you liked the video by leaving a comment below. Maybe you'd like to give feedback, maybe you have a suggestion, or maybe you thought that this tutorial could have gone a little bit better. Either way, please, please, please hit the like button and share this with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and wherever sharing takes place. Ah, the website. Chances are by the time you see this video, it will be up and running. If so, there will be an annotation uh, letting you know about that, and the link will always be in the description. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Until then, you can always view the old site. There will be a button on the construction page that will link you to there. Until next time, though, this has been your friendly neighborhood, Passive Line, signing out. Victor's Animated Battles. We've all seen the videos, and we even looked at the user manual. But there's still something we're missing to get it working with our own projects. Luckily, Passive Line is here to show you just how to do that.